Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2021. We have the King of Wands, the Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles here, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Okay, so for the month of July, you may be dealing with fire energy, a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries uh, energy, or Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, what I'm seeing here is it's going to be very important for the month of July, Scorpio, not to allow other people to... instigate okay what i'm hearing is you're allowing or you have allowed people to step in your connections or your relationships uh this could represent like going to a friend whenever the relationship is not going good and venting to them um and this has given them almost a feeling of like they have a right to critique to opinionate in regards to the relationship. And I feel that this is creating a lot of tension, a lot of frustration on both you and your partner's uh, energy. And it's because people are outside people from the relationship itself are instigating, are creating, you know, trying to get in your head, Scorpio, and I feel that this is affecting the connection or relationship. Now, for those of you guys that are single and have been dealing with someone and there has been almost like a lack of communication, not really knowing where they stand or where you stand with them, um, but yet they watch your social medias, they watch your stories on Instagram, on Snapchat, that type of energy, the reason why they're pulling back is because other people are influencing or other people are getting in the in between the relationship. I'm seeing a lot of like rumors, a lot of confusion. Um, so again, it's going to be very important to be centered in the month of July. It's going to be very important to not be very impulsive when they come to you and they're giving you like basically what they're telling you here, Scorpio, is don't, leave, don't let people get in your head, okay? And it's going to be very important because, see, we have the Seven of Cups here and the Seven of Pentacles. So this is talking to me about people seeing the effort, the work, or the potential of a relationship and trying to steer up shit with the Five of Swords here, ego in the way. It could be someone that is hurt, someone that is almost like, I don't like to use the word envious often, but it's almost giving me like an envious vibe. This could be so, this could be as close as a relative, a friend of yours, someone that you really trust and you've gone to them um, for advice in the past. And I feel like it's created some type of turmoil within themselves. There are insecurities that they refuse to work on, and they're reflecting those insecurities on you. So this is the type of, you know, this is the type of fuckery that I see in regards to, as an example, when you go to a friend because you genuinely want their advice, and they give you the advice, but the advice is not to the best of your interest, is it's an advice that is coming from their experiences, and their experiences are very different from your experiences or what you're going through. So it's going to be very important for the month of July to remain grounded, Scorpio, to not allow people to get in your head, to not allow people to, you know, criticize and make it seem as if it's constructive criticism when in reality they're just criticizing, okay? Because they're telling you there's a distinction of pulling away and being practical or viewing situations in a practical manner or allowing your emotions to get the best of you and then your aggression comes out. Your confrontation or the need to confront uh, either these rumors or people critiquing you or, you know what I'm saying? And what they're telling you is don't let them get, 
that side to you. Be in control of your emotions. Be in control of your power, Scorpio. Don't allow people's perception of you or their idea of what's going on in your relationship affect what's really happening. It's like there is a need for you to be practical. There is a need for you to be detached from the situation. Look at it from a different perspective. And again, if they're giving you advice and you and you catch yourself wondering, well, this advice doesn't it doesn't really it's not really to the best of my interest. It's time for you to step back and analyze why would they give you an advice that it's not to the best of your interest? If it's not to the best of your interest, then that would mean it would be to the best of their interest. Why would it be in their interest to create tension in your relationship or in your connections? And this could even be in regards to family and friends. But there is definitely someone that's trying to steer up shit and making it seem as if once they create this type of confusion and chaos, they can, you know, wash their hands clean and be like, well, it was all Scorpio. Well, it was Scorpio, the one that overreacted. Do you see what I'm saying? So you need to see past trusting. Okay. Because what they're telling me is this could be someone that you've gone to for advice in the past. So this is someone you trust, but don't trust blindly. You got to question whatever their advice is to you. Is it to the best of your interest? And if it's not, then you need to start questioning why is it beneficial for them to create this type of chaos or confusion? So my advice to you is, again, be methodical in the month of July. If you hear rumors or communication back and forth that starts to create some type of tension, whether it's in your relationship or whether it's in your family dynamic or social setting, don't react to it. Take a step back and analyze why are they trying to make you seem like you're the one that lost control or like you're the one that is impulsive when it's them being the ones to instigate the situation, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight. I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.